Hi, I'm James, and in today's video, I'm taking a look at this, which is a Lenovo Yoga 530-14ARR laptop. And to start off with, I have my Torx T5 screwdriver here, and I'm going to go around and just remove all the screws from the base of the laptop. Uh, you have three rows here, and so three at the back, and four at the front, the front being slightly angled in, uh, but all the screws are the same, so you don't need to worry too much about which has come from which position. And it should just take a minute or so to remove these. Um, all the parts that I'm using in this video, so particularly the screwdriver, uh, are linked in the description below. It's quite simple with this. Uh, to get in, just need this Torx T5, and then once inside, I'll be using a Phillips 00 screwdriver, just where necessary to remove some of the internal screws, and some plastic pry tools. So with that, done. We're then going to take our pry tool and we're going to start just along the side trying to find a place we can press in here and what we want to do is just push in at an angle quite firmly just to begin separating off the base of the machine from the palm rest going along the front now and again just sort of pushing down in quite firmly at an angle and running along the front and then to the other side doing the same there what we can do now is start pulling up at the front and with that done we can then lift the base backwards and out once we're inside we're going to switch to that Phillips double O screwdriver bit and I'm going to start just by removing the battery this battery is a L17 C4 PB0 type Lenovo battery I will take a look and see if I can find a link for where you can purchase a compatible replacement for this and again I will put it in the description if I find one. With those four screws removed we can now move the battery around and with that done I'm just going to pull it into line and just pull on that cable to disconnect the connector for the battery. Now to access the SSD uh, what we have here is you will see there is this metal cover and it slots into these metal clips on the board and all we should need to do is gently pull that up. Underneath we find our SSD. Now on this particular board there is no accommodation uh, for a 2280 drive uh, so I believe this is a 2242 length drive so you would have to find a replacement SSD which fits this form factor um, this is a PCI uh, Gen 2 2X drive. Uh, it may well support a 4X, it is keyed for 4X devices, but this standard one is a 2X. So by undoing this screw, we can then remove the drive. To replace it, we then slot it back in Take our screw, press down, and screw that back into place. We can then replace this cover, and the key bit to do is so line it up with these metal clips on the board. It needs to slot between those. So I would start with these side ones then slide those out so that it meets up with the vertical ones and 
make sure she's actually slotted in taller than properly. And that looks good, we're happy with that. Uh, similar process to get to the DIM modules. So we have these two covers here. So by lifting these off, we can access the memory modules. To remove the modules, simple case, and these are DDR4 26 66 megahertz modules. Again, I'll put some links in the description below. So you can just pull out on those, pull to the side, lift the modules out, reinsert them so at an angle, and press down to fit. We then can simply refit the covers and they are ready to use. If you want to replace the wireless card then we have a single screw here and basically we have these two wireless antennas so those clip off and then single screw and we can remove the wireless card Refit by again pushing in at that angle, press down on the card, screw the retaining screw back into position. When refitting then the aerials or antennas, grey onto the orcs and black to the main. Uh, with that done, we're now happy with the machine, so we want to first of all reconnect our battery. See with the battery connected, just be careful that you don't inadvertently power on the machine. And then just replace four screws that hold in place the battery. Now that's in place. We just want to take our base and start by pressing in this back section and then work around the base making sure everything is properly clipped into place <coughs> and finally just turn to our T5 screwdriver bit and replace the screws into the base. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you have, give us a like. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. And if you want to see more of these videos as we post them, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.